KLS Sports FM89 in association with Water now brings your exciting feature Water in the Locker Room. We'll take a look at selected teams participating in the Issa Schoolboy Football Leagues across Jamaica. St. Andrew Technical surprised everyone except themselves and coach Philip Williams did indicate from early that his team would be in the final. He has been at St. Andrew Technical for 15 seasons and he thinks this could be the year. Definitely we would like to go further than how we, we went um, last year. We, we, we fell out at the semi-final stage to a good KC team and I think the guys did well last year to represent themselves and definitely a lot of work has been done and focused on getting guys fit to go all the way. Jamaica College has 32 football titles overall, the most for any high school in schoolboy football. And coach Davian Ferguson is having a good first season with his team. It has been an enthralling first season thus far. Uh, we have some objectives that we set at the start of the season and we are on target to, to meet in such. It's a really tight knit group. Uh, results sometimes go against us. But it doesn't really change how we feel about the overall talent pool that we have here in terms of the players. In the first 15 years of Manning Cup, they won 11 times, and in the last 15 years, they have taken seven titles. Could this be number eight? What will happen in the 2019 Manning Cup final? St. Andrew Technical versus Jamaica College. Welcome to this edition of Water in the Locker Room. St. Andrew Technical remains the only team that had no other team score against them in the first round of the Manning Cup. They scored 40 goals in their nine matches. Jamaica College, on the other hand, scored a massive 54 goals but conceded four in their first round of 12 matches. Both teams had a bit of struggle in round two and ended in the same zone in the quarterfinal. St. Andrew Technical maintained the edge and won all three matches against JC, St. George's College and Excelsior. Stats ended on nine points, while JC was only able to muster up two points. Turn your attention now to this semi-final where Stats met Wilmers and edged them three goals to two, while JC had a thrilling 5-4 win on penalties over Kingston College after a nil-all draw. We look back at stats with Captain Steve McQueen, who is in his final year of Manning Cup. I expect to lead my team straight to the final and also winning the final. It's my last year, so definitely I want to show my coach, my players, the student of St. Andrew Technical High School, and also everyone around the community, in my community, over Jamaica, that Stephen McQueen has led his team to a final and taking home the trophy to St. Andrew Technical High School. JC has had some really great goal scoring moments throughout the competition. The goal that stood out the most for me is against Stats because I was my weaker foot and I went in the top corner. It's been a great season. Both teams believe that the support from the community is important to the team's performances. The support is you know, very good, like especially my friends, they call me big ball and all those, you know, all those things just to you know, give me some hype. I, but I don't get, let it get to my head still because you know, I'm very humble. But it's good to have you know, that type of support. So here's what we have. Stats, a team trying to win their second Manning Cup title. Versus Jamaica College, a team with 29 titles. Who will reign supreme? Stay tuned. 